If you haven't seen last week's episode, I suggest you head on over and watch it. It's a goodie. Here's a quick recap of what we got up to in Cappadocia. For Christmas Day, we did something extra special and went up in one of the hundreds of balloons that fly each day in Cappadocia, and what an unforgettable experience this was. Then, over the next few days, we visited a bunch of valleys with these amazing rock formations, including by horseback ride for the sunset. This place is like a fairy tale wonderland. This week, we show you a few more of the sights before we make our way to a new destination for New Year's Eve and then head back to our boat for 2022. I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. My lips look so pink. Third time watching him. You sick of him yet? Fourth time watching him. Fourth? Fourth. Third? Fourth, including the hot air balloon. Yeah, it's not really Never watching. sick of it. <laughs> Seriously, like, just as amazing every time. I think it's like different formations every time. But we got lucky because we, we got a full sunny day the day we went up. We came to this cute little home style restaurant. She's making the um, she's making the pasta over there. Ah. <laughs> what are you making? Yes. Uh, baklava. baklava. Oh, baklava. baklava. Damn it. Yum. Yes. And what what is it? Flour. Yeah, baklava you Ah. Very cool. <laughs> Master chef. Master chef. <laughs> yes. Master chef. 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 And that's and quite good too. Yogurt soup, I haven't tried it yet. I've ripped in already. <laughs> then we've got a beef stew, Turkish beef stew. It's like little baby meatballs. Looks really yum. We accidentally dug into this before we filmed it. So it looks like a bit of a mess now. But this is our best dish, yeah. Yeah, it's like a um, bolognese sauce with traditional Turkish pasta. It kind of looks like long grain rice, but it's past the texture. It's really nice. And it's got garlic in it, remember? She asked us like three times. You in want the garlic? actual meal, yeah. You want garlic? <laughs> Maybe some people don't like it. Um, we've seen this pasta in Greece, but never tried it. Very nice. I rate it. When I went to Google review this beautiful homestyle restaurant, I learned these lovely ladies are volunteers and all the earnings go towards university scholarships for girls. It made this place all the more special. If you head to Cappadocia, make sure you pay this place a visit. So we've made it to the underground city. Okay, K Mackley, underground city. K Mackley, is that the, that's the town? I don't know how you say it exactly, but yeah. I don't think it was made for... That's insane if they've actually made this. They have, babe. Why do you keep thinking that things are made up? <laughs> I feel like this is made up. It's not. They might restore things, but... Look, that's like the door thing, huh? Like that they pull, push across, like that's it's... That's insane, eh? Yeah. And what, it just fits in there pretty perfect? Well, it's normally up this way. Like yeah. They roll it across and it just blocks it. So these walkways are probably um, 
maybe four foot. Um, and we're, we're probably like three or four levels deep now. If you think about that, there's like little, almost like little foot ledges for them to climb down into the elk out. You don't know where that is. I'm not sure if these are like bedrooms in here or... Or what? Yeah, I suppose there is, isn't there? Pretty uncomfy beds. Do you want to go down further? Or are you scared? A little bit. Which one? Down here. It's really dark, though. There was a light there, though. It's out. Right. Oh, I reckon there would have been thousands of people. Do you reckon? Oh, yeah. This place is huge. It would suck being on the 12th level. And then if you wanted to come back out, you'd have to... Down the bottom? Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you didn't know your way around either. Well, there was more, there was, what is this? Like a cup holder? <laughs> Janae's found the cup holder. You won. This place was insane. You were only allowed down to the fourth level, but this particular underground city runs about eight levels deep. We only stayed for about half an hour, as it was a little claustrophobic and hot inside. The volcanic rock keeps the interior a constant temperature of about 14 degrees which doesn't sound warm, but compared to outside, it was. It is believed that the underground cities of Cappadocia were initially built during the 8th and 7th centuries BC. There are around 200 cities in total in Cappadocia. The idea behind these cities was to protect the people from foreign invasion, allowing thousands of people to live their lives in total secrecy. This particular underground city was used to shelter locals for several centuries throughout the Arab-Byzantine Wars. During this time, it was significantly expanded to the point where it eventually became the widest underground city in Turkey. It's estimated that at its peak, the population of Kaymakli grew to around 3,500 people. It wasn't until 1923, after the population exchange between Greece and Turkey, that the underground cities were completely abandoned, and then not rediscovered until 1963. The story goes that a resident found a strange room behind a wall in his house, and the rest is history. They really cares about the underground city. But Why? she saw ice cream places over there. She's probably more excited about that. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, me too well, honey. <laughs> it's getting all frisky. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like that, I don't think. The best part of our day is just when we find animals to cut cute animals. Oh. He's getting his claws out on me. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> He's really trying to tuck in there, isn't he? And that was our Cappadocia trip done, and now we're on our way to somewhere new. That's actually easily the most snow I've seen. Does it look, does it look snow, snow boardable? Nah, not here. I don't think it is here. Is that a word, snow boardable? <laughs> We 
We've made it without crashing. Janae did a really good job of driving. What? Oh, my hair, my sunnies are fogging up. That's the passenger. This place is sick. Best run was it, honey? Yeah, because someone got in my way. Someone stacked, stacked it right in front way. of you? Yeah. That's why you don't follow people. I wasn't. She came across. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. She came out of nowhere and then just went. Janae's already done two backflips. She's like showing everyone up. <laughs> don't know about that. Jason's right. up there, going on his own. I've given up now. For some reason I just did so well at the start and the last couple of runs I've just stacked it hard like a few times. So it kind of makes you lose your confidence a little bit and I really don't want to get hurt again today. So here he comes. Just over there. Here he comes. <laughs> you didn't fall backwards. Hey. You said you didn't fall backwards. I haven't the last few times now. At, at the end. Good job, that was good. Did you see I nearly crashed into that dude? No. Nah. This stage is here. He completely slowed down. I was heading straight for him. Alright. Good luck. Good luck, honey. Get up from here. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stacked it already. That's shred, hon. Shred away. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I think they're your socks. Off to the slopes for one last time. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna snowboard today. I'm too sore. Pull yeah. it down so many times that my bum is like so bruised on one side. And I'm not feeling the best, so might just watch Jason today, see how I go. That sounds very boring. I know, but I don't want to fall over again. I'm sore. At least you can watch me stack it. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're checking out of this hotel. It's more like a business hotel, this one, eh? Yeah. Like very businessy. But um, it's been pretty good to us so nice, far. Nice and clean and everything though, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, very modern, very new. And, and it was very cheap. cheap. It was it's only... like 50 Aussie a night. Yeah, including breakfast, like a full buffet breakfast, which was decent. So technically $25 each. Including breakfast. And like insane. our room gets cleaned every day. It's like a hotel where your room gets cleaned, so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So we're just on our way for our last day of snowboarding on Mount Urgius. So we just stayed in Kayseri, which is the city close by. So it's only like a 30 minute drive up the mountain. Um, we didn't stay in the middle of the city though. We're kind of on the outer edge. <laughs> Shut up, Siri. Um, <laughs> so we obviously don't have like ski gear and stuff like that because we've never done it before um, and we don't really plan on doing it all the time so we just decided to hire gear 
and it only cost anywhere between 20 to 30 Australian dollars per day and that's for everything so that's uh, the pants the jacket the snowboard with the boots helmet um, the goggles if you want the goggles that obviously makes it cost a little bit more but yeah so we paid between 20 and 30 dollars per day each which i think is insanely cheap yeah very cheap compared to like australian standards it just and probably new zealand as well they're not very cheap so um and then the lift pass with on the beginner um magic carpet how much was it uh ten, uh, ten goes was only yeah so you get five dollars i think wasn't you, it all you pay for is to go up the gondola or the magic carpet so you don't have to pay for anything else and that was uh, five dollars for ten goes on the magic carpet. On the ma magic carpet. And then how much was it for the and, other one? And the gondola was um, we got fifty goes, and it cost us forty Australian. Yeah, which is ridiculous. I don't think we're going to get through them all. Yeah, well, there's no way we're going to get through them. Um, yeah, so you don't actually have to pay entry to the ski resort itself. It's just so like if you lived here and you had your own gear. All you have to pay for is lift pass, which is just ridiculous. Yeah. So cheap. Lucky buggers. Yeah, and obviously like food and drinks is a little bit more pricey than what you'd find in the city, but still very cheap by Western standards, that's for sure. Yeah, Turkey's just cheap in general. Yeah. So yeah, we'll show you when we get there what it's like. So if you want to hire your ski rental gear in K Siri. No, where are we? Mount yeah, Ursus. If you want to hire your ski rental gear in Mount Ursus. Ergius. Go to this place here. Everyone's so friendly and they speak English. It's, it's really Literally. rare <laughs> to find people that speak English around here. Put your pants on. Hey, you got my pants got on? Got your pants on. What? I'm too sore. Bruised. So these are extremely hard to get in. I don't know if it's just me or... No, they are. I think they are in general. I don't know how I'm going to go. He's, he said he's, um, these aren't my normal shoes that I wear. They're like the next size up, I think. Yeah. We were late. So it's our fault. Yeah, today made us come late. And look how busy it is today. It's normally not this busy. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. So this is definitely the busiest day we've been to, yeah. Because it's a Saturday. Saturday and New Year's, New Year's Eve. New Year's Day. Oh, babe. Holy shit. Lucky we got our passes. I reckon. It's next level. Gondola doesn't look too busy, like stupidly. Yeah, that's ridiculous. But just the people hanging around. But yeah, I'll just uh, see you, you at the bottom, honey. I'm probably gonna stack it about 10 times. <laughs> so I probably won't notice who you are until you come towards the bottom. I've got blue pants on. Yeah, but it's hard to see. Everyone blends in. I'll do a backflip for ya. <laughs> you wish. See you, honey. Is. 
show the fast. This did not go very well. No, really bad. Like, Makes a difference, I, I doesn't it? The board or the shoes or... Like, look, the flex just keeps coming out of them. Like, it's so loose. They just keep loosening. I tied them up and now I stacked it so hard. Oh, I'm like happy that I didn't go today. There's way too many people. Like, I just wouldn't enjoy it. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. When you're, so, okay. when you're so sore, it's hard to enjoy it. Yeah. Because I'm like, I just... Even the thought of, like, falling on that same spot. Like that in there. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Because they didn't really have any other ones for you. That's why they gave you those. To what? I don't know. See if I get something else. I'm gonna pick your. I can't. I, your water. I honestly can't. I got no control at all. Yeah. Like maybe if I was starting off, but. Yeah. That's way too hard. <laughs> Your bum looks wet. Do they feel better? Okay. Do they feel better? I think so. I'm scared, that one really fucking hurt. Yeah, I know, it makes like, you nervous. really right? hurt. This is crazy how packed it is today. Oh, I just burnt my tongue. Oh, Look yeah. at it. <laughs> we got some hot chocolates. They're so good. It literally good. tastes like hot custard. Chocolate, yeah, chocolate custard, like drinking custard. <laughs> it's so good. It is really nice. Like you can barely walk in here, that's how many people are here. We can hear DJs going off, so we're gonna go check it out. We'll get some wet feet while we're at it. I won't. This is what we got to put up, put up with in Turkey. Oh my child. Oh my child.